I'm Gana. Today I'm going to do a puppet show about the story Jungle Jamboree. A long, long time ago, there lived many animals on the land as one large family. The birds did not fly and the fish lived on the ground. All the animals lived happily until the animal population increased. All the animals were thumping into each other. Smaller animals were getting trampled by the larger ones. Elephants squashed the wings of birds and squirrels were misshapen because of being stepped on so often. All these companies were told to live out the night, the king of the jungle. After hearing all these complaints, he got tired. One day, a trouble level went to the water hall. Here's so many animals. The fish crawled to the edge of the water and dived in. The birds flew up over the water hall and dived down at different points to dip their beak in the water. The monkeys hung their tails on the branches, swinging merrily. They will watch all these with interest. Then he remembered once when Victor, when Victor the Leopard, his advisor, had once told him, Your Majesty, Humans stay in something called houses. Each family lives in a separate place. An idea flashed into his mind. The next day, he made a meeting with all the animals. As usual, it was overcrowded. He stared at his subjects and said, I have a solution that will solve all of your space problem. But it will require a kind of separation, but it will be for your good. My aim is only to let you all move around freely without harming any other. He turned to the fish and said, I've seen that you have fins that help you to swim and gills that help you to breathe underwater. So you can live in the water. But when you want to meet your friends, you can come on the shore. Then he turned to the birds. He said, I've seen that you have wings that help you to fly. Though they are small, when you practice flying more, it will develop. You can take the sky as your playground and the trees as your home. Then he moved to the insects. He said, I know you have the ability to dig underground so that you can live underground and you will have enough safety. Then he moved to the larger and stronger animals. He said, I know you're very strong so that you can live on the land and protect yourself. After the separation, the forest was no more, no more crowded. Animals stayed in their allotted places peacefully and safely, and they could move around freely without hurting any other animal. That was the end of the story. Thank you.